find that every single person up in the tower caters to each and every one of Triple H's whims. But I assure you, Brock Lesnar is not one of those people. So here's a word that Triple H is probably not used to. No. No, Brock Lesnar will not drop his lawsuit against WWE. No, I will not drop my lawsuit against Triple H. And most importantly, ladies and gentlemen, no, Brock Lesnar will not fight Triple H at SummerSlam. You know what, I, I look around here and I can't help but notice we're not in a bingo hall and I'm not one of your cronies from the 90s drinking your Kool-Aid, Paul. I know what you are. You're a habitual liar. That's the truth. Brock Lesnar is going to fight me at SummerSlam. Oh, stop. Will you listen to yourself? No, 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 I am not going to listen to me and I'm not going to listen to you. I only want to listen to one guy and that is Brock Lesnar. I want to hear Brock Lesnar tell me that he is going to step up and be a man and fight me at SummerSlam. You want to know why he is? Because I can give Brock Lesnar what he wants. Brock wants to be the star. He wants to be what it's all about, right? Well, I can give that to Brock Lesnar. Take a look. Now that right there, that's what SummerSlam will be all about. Brock Lesnar will be the face of that promotion, Paul. Everything he wants, all he's got to do is step up and agree to fight me. You're going to try to appease Brock Lesnar's ego with that? You're going to you're gonna play to Brock Lesnar's ego? Brock Lesnar has no ego. Brock, <laughs> Brock Lesnar has no ego? No. Usually you lie better than this, Paul. Brock Lesnar has no ego. The guy that came out here and said he wanted it to be called Monday Night Raw starring Brock Lesnar has no ego? It's all about ego for Brock. You're going to tell me Brock Lesnar would rather make his money sitting in the courtroom? For a long time, I might add, I got a whole building full of lawyers salivating over getting you in court. Brock Lesnar is all about ego. And Brock Lesnar will do this because if he doesn't, Brock Lesnar is going to go down as the guy that is scared of Triple H. You're good. I mean, you, re you really are that damn good. You, you almost had me going. Wow. I mean, Brock Lesnar scared of me at Somerset. Oh, come on. Stop. Just stop pretending to be a wrestler. Stop playing the ass kicker that you used to be. Go back to your ivory tower where everybody caters to your every whim. Go back home to your little princesses and play the king of kings because in Brock Lesnar and Paul Heyman's world, you're not the king of anything. Are you getting angry at me? <laughs> Are are you getting mad? Are, are you gonna hit me now, big bad wrestler? Huh? Is that what you're gonna do? You're getting to be more and more like Vince says every single day goes by. And just like I used to push every single one of Vince's buttons, I know how to push your buttons too. Brock Lesnar is not going to fight you at SummerSlam. And you know, listen, if you want to hit me, go ahead. Go ahead. Hit me right now. Go ahead. I'll take one for Team Lesnar because if you And just so you know, in Brock Lesnar and Paul Heyman's WWE, we have nothing for you. But I do have something for Stephanie. You know, I...
I knew you wouldn't hit me because I can outthink you every single time. I know everything you're going to do long before you do it. You met your match in me. The cerebral assassin, uh-uh. I'm smarter than you. I see everything you're going to do from a mile away. Did you see that coming? <laughs> you tell Brock Lesnar I will see him at SummerSlam. That is, unless he's afraid the same thing will happen to him. If you smell now, what the Rock is cooking. WBCB presents Pro Wrestling Weekly. Tell me he didn't just say that. Call in with a question or comment at 215-949-3232 or 888-922-2149. The tower of power, too sweet to be sour, funky like a monkey, holy yeah. And now, here's your host of Pro Wrestling Weekly, Ferran Derry. It doesn't matter what your name is. Really? Yeah. Hello and welcome to Pro Wrestling Weekly here on 1490 WBCB and online at WBCB1490.com. Ferran Derry here with you, here for the full hour, and we have a ton of stuff to talk about, including the No Way Out results. And in case you missed Raw as well as No Way Out this past Monday and Sunday, respectively, that may seem a little out of left field, and that's because during the pay-per-view, Triple H came out and said that he wants to fight Brock Lesnar at SummerSlam coming up in August and to drop all of the legal nonsense, drop drop the lawsuits, as you heard there from uh, Paul Heyman, the representative of Brock Lesnar. Doesn't look like it's going to happen, but a little bit of one-upsmanship by two guys who can cut pretty decent promos, Paul Heyman and Triple H. I'll go over the rest of the No Way Out results for you. Also, something that I teased last week and we're going to get into, breaking down the broken-down WWE roster, taking a look at the staggering numbers as far as wrestlers being out between injury, suspension, and otherwise. I've got all that for you. And also kind of looking who's in that main event picture, who's a little bit below it, kind of breaking down the different rungs of the ladder in the WWE. I've got that all coming up for you. Also, an interesting impact, the Bound for Glory series underway. I've got all of those standings for you. And looking ahead to next week, well, we're going to take a look. Tomorrow is the five-year anniversary of uh, kind of a black eye in the world of wrestling, and we're going to take an in-depth look at it next week, June 30th. And that's, of course, uh, the Chris Benoit tragedy. That, of course, happened five years ago tomorrow. And we'll, uh, we'll look back at that infamous weekend. We'll look back at the career of Chris Benoit, and we'll mention his name probably more times than WWE ever will at this point considering that he's been persona non grata over the course of the last five years plus coming up in about a little over 10 minutes we've got a new summer segment here at bcb that we'll uh, we'll get into in a little bit let's take a look at the no way out results of course for those who would uh, miss it i didn't exactly do so great with my guesses even though i know uh on the Facebook fan page, WBCB Pro Wrestling Weekly, uh, of all people, Ryan chiming in, boy, did that pay-per-view turn out to be predictable or what? But apparently not so predictable for me because, uh, I don't know, I only got three out of the seven matches that I could predict right. Uh, Brodus Clay in the pre-show beating David Otunga by countout. Uh, Sheamus opening up the pay-per-view, defending the world championship against Dolph Ziggler in a heck of a match just over 15 minutes. Didn't get that one right. Santino Morella. He uh, beat Ricardo Rodriguez in that tuxedo match that pretty much everybody was uh, booing from the start. Christian pinning Cody Rhodes to retain the Intercontinental Championship. Again, went with my head and set of my heart on that one. Um, a bonus match, not advertised. A four-way match to determine the number one contenders to the tag titles. The primetime players, Darren Young and Titus O'Neil, beating Primo and Epico, the Uso brothers, as well as Tyson Kidd and Justin Gabriel in that four-way match. Also, Layla beating Beth Phoenix to retain the Divas Championship. Sin Cara beating Hunico. And, of course, a couple of main events thrown in there as well. CM Punk successfully retaining the WWE Championship, beating Daniel Bryan and Kane in that triple threat match. A little bit of a filler, another handicap squash by Ryback. And, of course, John Cena beating Big Show in the cage 
thus causing John Laurinaitis to be fired. And already some uh, interesting thoughts on that. Mike chiming in about 15 minutes ago. We heard it. You're fired. Who do we think will be the next Raw and SmackDown GM? He throws in a couple of suggestions of Steve Austin, Roddy Piper, and Triple H. We'll throw that out there. Who do you think the GM's going to be? I'll need a little time to kind of stew over it. But while we do that, let's go to the phones. Let's kick things off with Dan. With Dan. Getting confirmation here from producer Wild Bill Melody. Dan, welcome to Pro Wrestling Weekly. You sure that's Dan? No, we lost that. Okay, let's... He's been having trouble with... He's been having trouble with the connection? Okay, well, we'll... uh, We'll go over. To, uh, we'll go over to the local scene. We'll go to Ed real quick here. Ed, welcome to Pro Wrestling Weekly. Ed, huh, we're having all kinds of issues here today. All right. Well, we'll uh, we'll take care of our first bit of business. We'll come back on the other side, and uh, we've got a new segment uh, for the summer here on Pro Wrestling Weekly, and. Uh, yeah, we'll see if we can get more of your calls. We've also got Facebook feedback. You can check us out on Facebook at WBCB Pro Wrestling Weekly. And as we get the phones figured out, we'll get a chance to talk to you there as well. Here are the numbers, 215-949-3232. That's local or toll-free anywhere worldwide at 888 Those are the ways to get to us here on Pro Wrestling Weekly here on 1490 WBCB and online at WBCB1490.com.